Well, good morning, guys. It's uh, Sunday, December 20th. It is 29 degrees here in Pittsburgh. It's pretty cold. The ground was crunchy this morning. Uh, while I was loading everything up into the truck. It's supposed to jump up to, I believe, like 40, 45 degrees today. So it's still going to be kind of chilly out, but not too bad. Going to get out and do some digging. Um, Gary Adams was nice enough to invite us to a new permission of his. It's a log cabin dating back to the late, late 17s, early 1800s, still standing. And uh, when we get there, we'll try to get some footage of the, the building itself and surrounding areas. Hopefully, we'll find some pretty good stuff today. On my way to pick up Ron. And uh, we got about a 40-minute drive to get out and meet Gary. And I don't know if Rob Hilt's coming up with us today or not. But... Uh, yeah, we'll see you guys when we get there. And uh, sporting a new Hoover Boys t-shirt. Thanks, Kurt. Appreciate you getting it out to me. And uh, if you guys don't already have a t-shirt, hook up with Kurt and get one ordered, man. They're nice shirts. You did an awesome job on them. And uh, yeah, I'm going to get going here. I'm going to pick up Ron, and we'll see you there. guys so yeah this is the property that we're hunting today it's an old log cabin to my understanding is that um somebody was living here i believe in 1990 i think from what i was told um yeah a lot of iron here and uh hopefully we'll come up with something good runs on the other side of the cabin there and i believe gary's down in this pond somewhere so We'll, go, we'll keep you guys posted and uh, hopefully pop some, some goodies out today. Shotgun casing. First good signal other than uh, iron. And uh, it's a piece of lead. Um, here we go. Try to get 
try to get this to focus. Pretty sure it's a 12 gauge slug, but uh, yeah, nice little piece of lead, got some weight to it. Whoop, dropped it, and uh, yeah, I'll take it. See what else we can come up with. And uh, it doesn't want to focus. There we go. There we go. Focus. And um, yeah. See what else we can come up with here, guys. We'll keep you posted. Been digging for a little while, digging tons and tons of iron. Got a pretty good signal here. I was reading high. AT Pro, got the attack coil on. Now I've dug a lot of spoons. I've never dug a fork. Um, back side of it says, if I can get it to focus. Let me set it down, try to get it to focus on there. Eighteen forty seven Rogers brother. Silver plated. And uh yeah, sweet little relic. So uh hopefully clean up pretty decent and uh yeah, I like it. Alright guys, we'll keep you posted. Guys, yeah, so <clears throat> just pulled this little thing here out. I believe it's a radiator cap. Um, another little relic just to show that there was life here at one point. And, um, yeah, sounded pretty good. And, um, they were digging a lot of, a lot of iron and a lot of signals and just trying to clean up what we can. And, uh, hopefully at some point get down to some good, some better stuff and some coins and see what happens. And as of right now, we haven't found any coins that I'm aware of. But, um, at least I know I haven't, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, another little relic and, uh, add it to the, uh, collection. Hey guys, so I'm working through a lot of the sticker stuff here, I'm trying to break it down as I go. And I just got me a nice little high tone, dig it up and pretty sure it's a button. Um, there is a shank on the back of it. Um, can't say I've ever seen a button look like this with all these holes and stuff in it, but you just never know. So I'm going to try to get it cleaned up and, uh, get you guys some pictures and maybe see what it is. See if there's any writing or anything on it and see what it is. But that definitely looks like a shank. Um, so I'll just keep you guys posted and, uh, try to get a picture of it and, Show you what it is. Later. Hey guys, so I got it cleaned up and it's definitely a little button or a brooch or something. Um, it's got a pretty cool little flower design on it. I think it's this one right here where my thumb's at. Actually still has a stone in it. And then, um, yeah, there's the shank on the back side of it. Try to do it that way so you might be able to see the shank. There you go. And, uh, yeah, pretty cool little piece. Dig it all. So, all right, well, we'll get back to you. All right, guys, got another little hit here. Um, let's set this down because I got gloves on and it's kind of hard for me to hit the focus button on it on the camera, but I believe it's the back side of a spoon handle. Um, doesn't want to focus. There we go. It's a little better. Anyways, um, yeah. Back side of a spoon handle, it's got a little bit of ornateness to it, a little pattern, no coins for me. 
uh, Gary, I believe, on one weedy. But, uh, yeah, we'll keep you guys posted. So as I was digging this out, Ron brought this over to me. He found this earlier, he said. Uh, looks like a drawer pole. Uh, looks like a koi fish or something on it. But uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Nice little relic. And uh, yeah, hopefully find some more stuff. Starting to lose light. So we're going to get back to digging and see what else we can pop. All right, guys, so I just popped my plug here, and I got our coin. Don't know what it is yet, but we're about to find out. Bigger size of nickel. I believe it's a weedy. Huh? I believe so. Well, I got a one cent on the one side. it might be yeah, it's just a weedy but I'll take it see if I can get a year on it nineteen fifty five I believe it said 1955. Oh, okay. Yeah, 1955. So my first coin for today, I'll take it. All right, guys, got a good signal here. Nice little silver plated spoon. Pretty cool design on it. Roger's brother, I think. That's what it says on the back. It's not the, there we go, Roger's. Yeah, keep it posted. All right, guys, so I'm working this little hill here. There we go. All right, so I'm working this little hilltop here. There's a knot house down there. And just came across a nice little surface find. Let's see if it's going to open up. Oh, it does. <laughs> it's a compass. There we go. Yep. Needle wants to move a little bit, but uh, yeah. Which way to the silver coins and the gold? It's telling me to go east, so I'm gonna head east. See what we come up with. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> 